six side hustles you can start in 2025. Let's do this. So the biggest lie young people are told when they're 18, 19, and 20 is to go to university, and if you go to university, you'll get a high paid, you're guaranteed to get a high paid job. This lie is drilled for you in um, high school, in the school system, reinforced by parents stuck in the past. While it might have been true back maybe my time, um, it's not really a reality anymore. Now don't get me wrong. Um, I'm not saying that studying is a waste of time. Many degrees are useful and the student experience is unforgettable. However, relying slowly on a degree, solely just relying on a degree is a is not a great way to get rich. Um, that's why it's so important for students to start some kind of side hustle uh, that has the ability to grow into something much bigger in the future. So that's why today I'm going to talk dive into six side hustles you can start this year. And to be honest, these actually apply to anyone because um, anyone in the world because and the other thing is I hate those silly videos that just kind of regurgitate the same hustle side hustle ideas. So today I'm going to give real life examples and um, of people smashing it out there and I'll rate them a little bit and give you a rating on how well uh, it is to learn, how much money you can make, like can you make a thousand dollars with this and um, how, how much money do you need to get started. So with that said, okay, so the first side hustle idea is faceless short form content. There's this guy called Daniel Britton. If you ever look him up, you'll see like many of you, he started using social media when he was 13 years old. Okay. Now at 16, he's earning a half a million dollars every single month. Just from every month, he just creates short form content on a Snapchat without even showing his face. Now it sounds unbelievable, but it's completely true. So why can you make so much money doing this? Well, at the moment, there's a huge war going on with Snapchat, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And during the pandemic, TikTok became so popular and grabbed the world by the balls that since then, social media platforms have been competing for that attention to get that attention back. So there's been a lot of war with the social media app. Um, and money, oh, the, reason, the reason it's so important is because more eyeballs on the on the channels means more money for advertisers. So content creators are very important to social media apps. Um, and we all like a little bit of money, so why not become a content creator? There's so many things you can do. So like this guy, this Daniel, um, he just started, uh, he didn't just rehash other people's content. He actually took existing content out there and he added new voiceovers, new music, and he put a nice hook on there and he did a good payoff at the end of the video so at the end of the video there was something that was people really wanted to see so they'd stick around and that's how he got this exponential growth uh and then he's just, he does he talks about rappers i think on one of his channels and he talks about um what was it he talks about he talks about other live streamers and he does all kinds of stuff so just check him out and you'll see and the best way to get good at creating content is Watching content, but not for entertainment. Watch it, and when you watch it, ask yourself, okay, why is it that I stopped and scrolled on this particular video? Why, what is it that's entertaining about it? And just jot down some notes, okay? Notice the hook that they use. Notice the type of content that you watched. Just make a couple notes, and doing this each day, you'll start to pick up a lot of cues on what makes really great content and then you can start implementing that in your own content okay um it's it's more about human psychology than fancy editing so uh that's just remember that and i've made so much money on it from different ways from being a content creator and there's a couple new ways you can monetize on tiktok one of them is now you get paid to make videos uh, for music um, if you get like a million views on your vid TikTok videos, you can make up to about a thousand dollars. That's a new thing that just they just released on TikTok. You just need a thousand followers to do it. So it's not that hard to get to a thousand followers, honestly, if you put a little effort into it. Uh, content creating is like one of my favorite side hustles. Okay, idea number two. Um, a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this one, but and it's technically not a side hustle, but 
It's really not that complicated as people make it out to be. And it's really um, just simply dollar cost averaging and investing. So you're not trying to buy at a certain time, you're not trying to buy at the right time. With dollar cost averaging, every time you buy is the right time. So you buy on all the highs, you buy on all the lows, and if you do that over a period of 40 years, if you were to invest $200 a month and get an average return of 10% per year, then you'll make about a million dollars. Okay, so I know what you're thinking though. Well, I don't have, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get a 10% return and I don't know if I have 40 years. Well, one is the S&P index, okay, did 11% return over the last few years, okay? And I know you don't want to wait till you're 40. So what I would do is start some side hustles and take half the money you make and start investing that in to the S&P index fund. Okay, so half of it goes back into your side hustle, half of it goes back into investing. And do it, some, do it dollar cost averaging style. So for this one, um, I would give it a one out of five for uh, ease, ease of, making a thousand dollars it's not that hard to make a thousand dollars investing um, you can do it with as little as one dollar you can start investing as little as one dollar and it's not that complicated to do dollar cost averaging you can set up an automatic purchase there's a whole bunch of apps that will set up a automatic purchase so every week a little bit of money like five dollars or six dollars comes out of your account that you know maybe you'd normally piss that away on coffee at Starbucks you could put that towards investing you know over 20 30 40 years that's gonna be a lot of money okay so but remember investing alone isn't gonna get you rich you got to still do side hustles beside investing side hustles and investing together okay next one side hustle number three Discord building. Um, there's a guy called Chris Peters. He's on track to make $15,000 a month from building Discord servers. Okay, he's only 19 years old. And if you don't know what a Discord is, it's basically like something that gamers just use, but now everybody uses it. And um, it's basically like a Facebook group, but it's more dynamic. There's You can put links to things, you can have community chats, and you can build them. And it, the learning scale on this is a little on the high side uh, to learn how to build a server a discord server takes a little bit of work but it is possible uh, the upside is you can make some easily make a thousand dollars a month with um, building discord servers for people and if you're on the younger side it's easy to learn so i give this a high rating overall um, this is a great side hustle now next one idea number four online coaching Okay, this has got to be probably the sweetest, most profitable side hustle and it has the most freedom because you can do it virtually anywhere on the world online. I know a lot of people from Dubai. I met a lot of people when I went to Dubai and a lot, this is well, how a lot of the millionaires made their money was with online coaching, fitness online coaching, um, having an info product, not so much a course, but just giving your time to teach a skill so the only downside is you might have to spend some time learning a skill but if you already have a skill that um, you can you can give away and coach someone and teach them that skill then you can charge a lot of money and you know, people rather would get personalized coaching than read it from a book people are just generally lazy and they want to be given the information they want to be coached so they'll pay good money like I'm talking $10,000 for coaching, especially if it delivers a result. If you deliver $10,000 worth of coaching and they end up making, you know, getting 10 times more value from that coaching, then it's worth it to them. And that's how a lot of people do this. Um, you know, and you don't have to be just in, in certain niches. You can be, you can do it virtually for anything. So I give this a really high rating. The only down, down maybe like, I give it two out of five for learnability. You're gonna to need to learn a skill if you don't have a skill. So it's gonna take some time to learn a skill. Like for example, if you know how to if you know how to do AI animation, that's a valuable skill to have that you could teach. Uh, okay, next one. And there's a lot of millionaires are made by doing online coaching. It's crazy. And you can, anyways, next one, AI animation. There's this guy called um, Mercy. And, he, and he's making like $10,000 a month. But only 2.5% of the entire population is taking advantage of AI. 
That means if you get in now and you're an early innovator, you have a chance to make a mark and get above like all the noise. There's no competition right now if you get in on AI animation um, because most of the world has not adopted it yet, believe it or not. It's, it's crazy stats. And um, slowly people are hiring AI animators to make to animate all their videos, do all their marketing. Like, there's so many directions you can take. Um, there's so many sub niches. So this would be this is a fantastic side hustle. I've I've already made a, quite a bit of money learning AI, and I don't even know that I only know the basics. And then people have asked me to do a lot of stuff AI stuff for them. So um, on, in terms of learning, let's go to the ratings. In terms of learning, it's going to be about a two out of five. On the learning, you're going to have to learn a bit. But in terms of making $1,000 a month from this, one out of five, no problem. You'll make well more than $1,000 a month uh, learning AI animation. And in terms of how much money you need to get started, again, one out of five, you don't need much money to get started learning AI animation. There's so much free videos and free information out there that teach you this stuff that you can learn it for free. So. Really good side hustle um, if you're looking for one. Next one, this is the last one, number six, is online writing. Now, I'm not talking about um, being the next Harry Potter or Game of Thrones writer, because that you need to be one of those guys. It's, you know, you got to be one in a million. It's like winning a lotto ticket. But what I'm talking about is writing, the kind of writing that earns you good income and that people need for websites and blogs and email marketing and copying. And believe it or not, people still pay really good money and no, ChatGPT has not replaced this skill. It's a really hard skill to learn. Good writing does not come easy. And a lot of the times, if you use ChatGPT for your writing, especially for blogs, Google doesn't like it. It likes original, fresh, engaging content and you can only get that by hiring a writer so becoming if you're really good at writing then this is a great skill you can offer uh, you could offer it on fiverr fiverr.com you could offer it on upwork or you can offer it um, online on your TikTok. you know there's so many ways to market it so in terms of startup cost one out of five great for startup cost can you make $1,000 a month? Yes, easy. You just, if you just get like four clients and you charge them $250 a month to write on their blog, then you're at $1,000 a month right there. You could charge much more than that. I'm just giving the basics. And um, in terms of learnability, that's the only downside. If you're not a good writer, you're gonna have to learn that skill and that takes some time. So.